So inshallah, in this lesson, we're going to be speaking about the long vowel. In Arabic, it's called med, which also means elongation. Now in English, we have the following words. The word bad. Notice the elongation of the A sound. We don't say bad. We say bad. Similarly, we have the word feet. We don't say fit. We say feet. There's an elongation of the E sound. And also, the word food. So we don't say food. We say food. So there's the elongation of the U sound. Food, not food. Now, if I transliterate this into Arabic, I get the following. So we have bad, feet, and food. In the first example, bad, it's the A sound that's being elongated. And that's denoted by this fetha here, which has the A sound, followed by the alif. And that's where we get the A ah sound, the elongation there, the long, the long vowel. Similarly, here we have a kasra, and then following it is the ya. So it's an e sound. And finally, we have here a dhamma, followed by the wow. So it's a u sound. So we'll come to know actually that the long vowels are created in these three following ways, which are having a fetha, followed by the alif, a kasra, followed by a ya, and a dhamma, followed by a wow. So they represent the three long vowels. So inshallah we'll go through some words and to see how the long vowels are pronounced. So here are some words. First one here is qala. Notice the elongation of the A sound. Qala. Not qala. Qala. So we have the fatha on the qaf followed by the alif. Next word is jihad. So we have here G, that's the first syllable, and then had, jihad. So you notice here we have a fatha on the ha followed by the alif. And that gives the elongation of the A sound. Next word, Ibrahim. So here, ib, ra, Notice here the Ra Fatha followed by the Alif. Once again, it's a, a long vowel. Ibra. Not Ibra. Ibra. Ibra and then Heem. Ibrahim. Here the Ha has a Kasra followed by the Ya. So here there's the elongation of the E sound. It's He. Heem. Ibra. Him. Similarly, here we have Karim. Now, Karim is actually a adjective that means one who's generous. So here we have the Ra Kesra, followed by the Ya. This is the Ya here. So Karim, not Karim. Next word, Maghdub. So Maghdub here has a Dhamma on the Dad, followed by the Wow. So it's an elongation sound. So it's a oo sound. So it's maghdub. And finally, here, qubur. Qubur. So there's the oo sound again. They have a ba with the dhamma followed by the wow. So you can see how the long vowel is formed there. Now there is another med, which is when two hamzas come together. But I actually thought that it would be more appropriate to mention that and we'll get to the introduction to grammar, Arabic grammar. Now, just finally, I want to translate these words. So we have qala means he said. Jihad denotes the action of struggling and exerting effort. Ibrahim is the Arabic name for Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him. And as we said, Karim means one who's generous. Maghdub denotes somebody who is the object of anger. So one who anger is directed towards. And finally we have the word Qubur. Qubur is the plural of the word Qabr, which means grave. So Qubur means graves. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.